everyone, welcome to the story behind the photo. I'm your host, Melissa New, and I'm with my dear friend, Lindsay Adler. Thanks with for having me. <laughs> fabulous red lipstick and red attire. I love me some red lipstick. You're so sweet. So what's happening? Um, having a great time so far. Yeah. The, I'm, we're here at uh, Photoshop World and the audience is awesome. Are they like, great? Such passionate people that are just excited to be here and live photography with other photographers. It's great. Totally. Awesome. Okay, well, I want to just dive into it. You are talking about a photo that has maybe a story that means something to you or it just has an interesting story behind it. What do you have for us? Sure. So I took this photo um, a couple years ago now, and it's a photo of this massive tangle of trees and a girl in a red dress in the middle of the trees. Cool. And it's one of the photos that recently I, uh, I had a professional portfolio review by an agency that helps you promote yourself. And that's one of the images that they were most drawn to. So for me, I, I definitely wanted to analyze what I thought was, was so compelling about it. And um, it's a little bit surreal. It's a little bit creepy, but not too much. It's engaging. It has my signature red. Yes. Um, so the story behind it was that um, years ago, like I, I'm talking like seven or eight years ago maybe now, mm -hmm. Um, I had gone to the museum in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco and it's a rainy day as it often is there and I'm wandering, uh, just kind of checking out the park just on the other side of the museums and I see this like tangle of bushes, branches, it's like it looks kind of kind of ugly but like something says like no there's something there. Cool. All right. So I wander off the path and for some reason like as you step close you realize that this tangle of bushes it's just massive and it's almost like these gnarled arms of trees reaching into the sky and then jutting down to the earth and it's just amazing. But just like 10 feet off the side of the road, it looks like nothing. It really doesn't look like anything. So I had been there and I was like, that's cool, but I have to come back. I took some pictures myself, but I'm like, that's not, the snapshot wasn't what I was looking for. I needed a concept, I needed something wow. So it was like five years later uh, before I came back and was able to do a shoot. And I planned the shoot, and basically the theme was just girl in red clothes amongst this this tangle, and I wanted it to be kind of surreal and dark, but not, not creepy anyway. So um, I went back, I shot this image, and when people look at it, they say, well, how much is Photoshop? The only minute thing that's Photoshop is a tiny bit of toning. I've added blue to the wow. shadows, and it looks really surreal. Cool. Um, so, so the moral of the story here is take a take a second look, go a closer. Second look. A lot yeah. of people missed it, and it's it's just ten feet over. Everyone's like, "Where did you see that?" And I'm like, half the people I tell, they're like, "Well, I've, I've been right there," and you just don't see it. So interesting. I love that. I love that. Okay, so you've been busy this year. You're you're doing quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Where can people follow you and? Keep up to date with what, what's up with Miss Lindsay Adler. Totally. So Facebook's a good place, which is forward slash Lindsay Adler Photography. My blog, I regularly update whether it's educational stuff or where I'm going or my newest editorial, which is blog.lindsayadlerphotography.com. And if you want to see what type of food I eat and my doggy <laughs> and the shoes I'm wearing, like my silly life stuff, uh, Instagram, which is lindsayadler underscore photo. Love it. Lindsay, it's so good to see you. Nice to see you again, too.